Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day on today's episode. So we'll look at ladies between 28 and uh, 42 years old. And wow, in this group, you know, they're a post wall and they're getting really frustrated at their dating options. And, you know, they talk about it a lot. They talk about all the requirements and not understanding where they really are in the in the sexual market. Uh, you know, they, if you wanted to, this high value, super successful guy, you had to secure him when you were younger, but uh, they don't get it. Let's get into it. I wanted to highlight this uh, study. We should show it one other time before, but you know, I always try to bring things back up with you know, new, our new subscribers. Thank you for, if you just, this is your first episode or you've just joined, thank you so much. Uh, so at this, uh, this point, so the 2020 survey, thousands of South Korean in their thirties, more than half of the men who did not wish to marry cited financial concerns as their main hesitation. A quarter of the women said they were happy living alone. While another quarter named the culture of patriarchy and gender inequality. So women are saying it's patriarchy and gender inequality that's making it they don't want to marry as a chief objection to marriage. Another recent survey by the two matchmaking companies found that women were reluctant to marry because they anticipate asymmetrical division of housework, whereas men hesitated because of feminism. So you were seeing this massive, I mean, we're not living in the same reality. That's the other thing. Like the women, you know, the, the womanist movement right now, this, this, this fourth, you know, generation of it, it, whatever, is you still thinking, you know, there's this massive inequality of, you know, there's nothing a woman can't do. There's really, I mean, you've got to be kidding me that what can a woman not do right now? She can do anything she wants. And it just, they're still living this, I get it, you know, 50, 60 years ago, but that's not how it is now. And men are really getting turned off by it. You know, a lot of us were blue pilled before uh, we've flipped over the red pill. Cause it's just, it's just, it's very toxic. And you know, masculine men are being just put down all the time and called, you know, the, the, the patriarchy and, you know, misogynist, all these words. So it's just very toxic stuff. Uh, let's get into the profiles. So on Dating Illusions, we always start the great profile. This is the great profile today. And she's 31 and she, uh, on her first page, she doesn't have anything written, but she says uh, she does want kids. That's fine. And, you know, she's absolutely beautiful. She has kept herself in great shape. She's smiling at us and just everything we want. She continues. Here you go. She says, we'll get along if you play pickleball. That's uh, kind of like tennis. If you haven't heard about that, uh, you know, just she's smiling again, very approachable. You know, she's very skinny. She's just kept in great shape. You know, just, just the way to do it, ma'am. She continues. Here she is on the beach. I mean, she's a beautiful, beautiful. Geez, I mean, this is a great picture to the sun, sunset behind her. You know, she might have been on a trip with some guy when she took this. Who knows? But I mean, it's a great picture of her. And she's, you know, like I said, she can... Choose the men now. If she waits till her damn forties and then doesn't pick a man and submit to somebody and pick a guy to be in a relationship, it's gonna be too late. But that said, she's only you know thirty one. You know, we'd like to see it younger, but you know that's fine. It's the modern era. She continues. Here she is having some wine. You know this again. She's and I says well, hi, wine lovers. So get wine tasting with someone. You know again, this might have been on some dates. Who knows? I mean, you, you never know. I mean, that could be out with friends. Uh, smiling again at the camera, and finally. One more picture. She's smiling again. She's very feminine and attractive. She's kept herself up. Ma'am, you get a round of applause. You know, I can only highlight ones that are just are doing it the right way. You know, we don't know this person. She might be very, very picky and, you know, waiting, waiting on that right man. We're, like I said, we're going to see the final profile today. It's going to, you know, this is going to be her if she waits too long. But uh, okay, let's get into the nonsense. So she's 28 and she has a she's a sterile technician, whatever that is, and her that job says about me. Looking for new conversations, new friends, 420 friendly. Talk, talk it up, man. It says no hookups. Nope. Damn, I don't believe you. You're also why are you in a schoolgirl office sucking a lollipop and you don't hook up? Stop the cat. I, I don't believe you. At all, she continues. Since everyone for that looks only for that. No, that's not true, ma'am. See, take a step back. See, ladies, there are tons of men who want relationships on these apps. It's just that they're not the hottest men, maybe. See, Chad doesn't need to get a relationship. He's smashing all of you, but there's lots of guys who aren't super hot who definitely would take the deal with you, ma'am. You know, of course, I don't know if you're, she's a woman of the night or whatever the hell her deal is wearing this, you know, <laughs> very schoolgirl-esque outfit and saying, I don't hook up. She continues, love going to new places, exploring. Yes, you all do, ma'am. We know what that means as well. One million dollars. <clears throat> well, 
I like to chat with someone who can keep a conversation going. Yes, who, who doesn't, ma'am? <laughs> sure. Bruh. She continues. If you want to chat more and get to know me, you can reach me on my other social media. I don't consider it social media. So I don't know what her deal is here, but you know, just saying like, and this is, you know, we've seen profiles like this before. If you're going to dress very scantily clad or in a schoolgirl outfit or in, you know, bikini and then go, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, again, I'm not saying any, women can't wear whatever they want. They can. But if you're trying to say then, you know, I want something serious, then in a schoolgirl outfit, ma'am, it just doesn't come across that way. We continue. So she's 41, has her dumb pronouns and hairstyle that says about me. I'm completely independent, single gal. <laughs> Ladies, even if you are that independent, don't put it in your profile. Good for you, ma'am. And you, you're a single mom here. Into the danger zone. I'm talking about how damn independent you are, sure. I mean, men want to be needed and wanted. You ladies just don't get it. She continues. That's enjoying life and maybe wants to have someone along for the ride. See, that's the problem, ma'am. It's not a, you need a man. You just all think you can just do it all by yourself and you're, it's ridiculous. She continues. I'm looking for a regular guy. No gym rats, please. It's just not my thing. Would you follow it, Chad? I wouldn't follow a chat. Ma'am, see, we know you, that's, it's so ridiculous to put, this is like a guy saying, you know, I, I don't want any models. I, I won't date, I won't date, my, you know, women who are models. I, I wouldn't believe him and I, ma'am, I don't believe you. Stop the cap. Of course you like a buff guy. And also she says she's active. She doesn't look all that active up there. I didn't, you know, I didn't have her full body picture, but ma'am, just why put this in your profile? If you don't, if you see a guy that you think is quote unquote gym rat, just swipe left on him. It's just very simple. We continue. So she's 28 and says about me. I'm a very kind, sweet, fun-loving woman and a bit of a goofball. Ma'am, how the hell do we know this? She continues. I'm very independent and work a full-time job. How about new? And we don't want independent women. Just why do you all keep putting this crap? But I always love to be treated like a princess. All women. <laughs> Our queen, if she breathes, she's a fuck! Let me take a step back. This is exactly the problem. I mean, really, this, this profile highlights exactly the problem. She says she's so independent and hardworking and all this stuff, but then look, I want to be treated like a princess. You can't have it both ways. Submit to a man and he'll, you know, court you and all this stuff you want or don't, but you can't just have the, all the benefits of womanism and all the benefits of traditional chivalrous men. We're gonna see a bunch of this crap, traditional chivalry, all this stuff. What is in it for the ma'am? You're already a single mom, ma'am. You're not even at the wall. You gotta be kidding me with this crap, your princess stuff. I've always enjoyed cuddling on the couch with a movie and a soft kisses. Okay, sure, that's sweet, ma'am. And just, okay, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't blog in your profile. I absolutely love to laugh and hope you do too. Yes, ma'am, of course you all do. And it's, but that course is only if it's Chad. You don't care if it's 500 pound guy. We're gonna see all our profiles. We talk about this, love to laugh. Yes, you all do when it's Chad. Got it, ma'am, continue. So she is 42 and has her dumb pronouns. She's an entrepreneur and says about me, entrepreneur with three daughters, two cats and one dog, looking for someone who wants to have fun and loves to travel. Oh no. Ma'am, when you put this kind of stuff, all we know is that you don't have time for us. Don't you guys get it? And of course you all love to travel. We've seen it over and over again. We know it means this. One million dollars. <throat> well, so you're basically saying you have, you've made it. Okay, we're totally fine. Good for you, ma'am. But you have all this crap. You have three daughters, two cats and a dog. It's just crap we have to swim through to even hang out with you. And then you're like, take me traveling. I mean, I can't, what's in it for the man? Why would you do a guy around your age who's 42 and good looking and ha can travel all the time would not date a single mom with a bunch of animals. He just wouldn't unless you're like a supermodel. She continues. She then says, I will never shut up about my kids. They are my world, ma'am. That is a single mom starter pack. <laughs> I mean, we 
just see it all the time. Ladies, I, look, if you come across the channel and just make, get you mad, I'm sorry, but really they're your kids. We don't know them. I, I, when you put stuff like this, it's just like a guy talking about his body or something like that, or sending you something, you know, it's just, it's so irrelevant to dating. Sure, you all love your kids. It's very noble, but we don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you? So she's 41 and nurse and says about me, mom of two. <laughs> Hang on. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Sure, ma'am, they're your kids. And she continues with nonsense. Thick, curvy, soft, and warm. Ma'am, look, ladies, seriously, you just put some pictures of yourself and you don't need to explain that you're overweight, okay? It's like, no man in the world is gonna go, you know, meet up with you and then tell his buddies, like, I met this amazing woman last night. She was thick, curvy, soft, and warm. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. It's never gonna happen, ma'am. She continues. I'm a registered nurse. It's a huge part of my identity. Yep, you're busy all the time, and the Godfather warned us about nurses, ma'am. Continue. It keeps me busy. Yep, you don't even have. That's the thing, lady, ma'am. Text it. You don't even have time to date, really. You got two kids and then you're busy all the time. You're telling the man, I don't have any time for you. Why would he take this deal, ma'am? She continues, it keeps me busy. I don't really, I really have a dark sense of humor. Oh, I do too, ma'am. Maybe you'll like me. I am definitely a weirdo. <laughs> I love Disneyland, Korean dramas, hockey, tasty beer. Yeah, we got it, ma'am. That's a huge bitch. <laughs> it's her and punk shows. Make me laugh, it's my favorite. Ma'am, perfect. I have the right guy for you, he's right here. Oh, wait, you just want Chad to make you laugh. Of course. I, yes, ma'am, we know you only swipe four and a half percent of the time. And so you want a Chad type guy to make you laugh and take this deal. Why would he, ma'am? She continues. If we match, just ask me on a date. Yep, this is telling us everything you need to know. She's not getting asked on real dates because she's an overweight single mom way past here. <laughs> Ladies, if you want a relationship, you have to sell yourself to men. You have to be enticing to the man. Putting all this stuff just tells us you're busy, that you're going to be overweight. It's, they're not going to take the deal. They're just going to try to pump and dump you. It's just the truth. I will probably say yes until you ask, until you get creepy on me. Then she man shames. Ma'am, it's all wrong. This is going to happen to you. That's why you would buy a dog and die alone. If you don't change, I mean, obviously you change, sure, but like, really, it's man shaming and cre all this stuff. Really, ladies, put in the comments. How often does this really happen when guys get quote unquote creepy or you know send deep pics? I mean, we've talked about in the, in the live shows and live chat. I, I don't know a single man who does stuff like that, but they talk about it all the damn time. They're letting. You know, it's again, it's the same thing. It's, it's a, like a guy putting, I don't like gold diggers in my, in their profile. You know, get that negative words out of there. Really, continue. So she is 36 and a singer, bartender, music therapist, another job I've never heard of and has a degree and says about me, lover, singer, dreamer, drink, drink slinger. Sure, ma'am. I don't believe in dating apps. And ma'am, why are you here? No one's making you be here, ma'am. I don't understand. She continues, but I never, I guess you never really fucking know. If you play your cards right, I will serenade you. <laughs> sure. Okay. I will surely deal you a good hand. Okay. This is kind of okay, except, I mean, it's kind of all over the place, really, but whatever. I'm just a funny Italian broad. Okay. Be funny then, ma'am. Living my best life. Don't waste my time. Or here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the f up. So then says, I won't waste yours. I'm not afraid to eat alone because... I know what I bring to the table. Are you threatening me? Man, why do you have to go so negative? And then she says, what the fuck do you bring? I do not have a Snapchat or an OnlyFans self-sufficient, no funding necessary, ma'am. I have this for you. I'm sorry, actually what I said was, Ladies, I don't know what to say. You, these are just, this is a dating profile, okay? These are your dating profile, you're trying to find a man. I can't, we can't help what's happened to you in the past, whatever the hell's going on. 
talking about all this negativity. Just a couple nice, but you saw the first profile. Some nice pictures, some sweet things about pickleball and some other sweet stuff, and she let the men come to her. But all you ladies have so much trauma and drama for whatever the hell's happened. I don't know you, but to put it on your profile and put it on men, we don't want to deal with your crap. We continue. So she is 30 and in healthcare and says about me, 30, single, no kids. Sure, ma'am. Own everything. <laughs> nope. How could you own everything, ma'am? Doesn't make any sense. Sweetheart, smart ass, but caring. <laughs> Hang on. Stop the cap. Yeah, I don't believe you. She continues. Music lover, if you like Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole, we go together real bad. Uh, sure. Man, what are you talking about? Fine. P.S. I don't want to hook up or be your FWB. Ma'am, no one makes you do it. Ladies, no one makes you get in the FWB situation. If you get with Chiron Tyrone and get in the FWB situation, that is on you, not men. She continues. I'm here to date, not fuck, so that's what your true intentions. Please keep swiping to the left. Ma'am, see, <clears throat> again, take a step back. If you only keep getting hit up for bedroom fun, that is on you. Fit, feminine, friendly women, and you're not very friendly get men who want to be in relationships when she's not even close to being done yelling at us side note enjoy the view and keep scrolling y'all act like you've never seen a woman with the big ass titties makes me believe you absolutely no pussy if you're looking for a third swipe left not interested you can't be serious man you cannot be serious Ma'am, look, I don't know you, but this comes across so trashy and just, you know, yeah, you, you're also, you know, you're this. That's a huge bitch. And yeah, you've got a big picture with your boobs and then you're like, where are the, where are the guys for chivalry and romance and why aren't they taking me on dates? Ma'am, probably because the way you present yourself and the, what you wrote in your profile. Again, it, the, the mirror, women don't like accountability and like, look, you're doing this to yourself. You know, in the same token, a guy who plays Call of Duty all day, who's 500 pounds, who's just talks about Call of Duty throughout his profile, you ladies would be like this. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, <laughs> right, let me tell you, we don't care. That's what we're doing to you. We continue. So she is 34 and says about me, I am from France. Where do you folks come from? France. We come from France. <laughs> Very weird way to put it, ma'am, sure. I usually like yoga, skiing, traveling. Yes, you all do, ma'am. She's not done with talking about it. She continues hiking. I also like music, reading books, and watch movies. Okay, this would have been fine, but then she says traveling is my biggest hobby, and ma'am, I have this for you. They all just, yes, everyone in the world likes to travel. We get it, ladies. Get it out of your profiles. You, we all know, I mean, who doesn't like vacations? It's just so stupid. And who has time to travel all the time unless you're like so independently wealthy? It's just so stupid. Continue. So she is 40 and has her dumb pronouns. And says she's a digital nomad and says about me seeking monogamous marriage or friendship. 40 plus hetero natural born male. No perverts. Ma'am, why would you need to add perverts in here? Okay, if, if let's take a step back again. If the guy is gonna send D pics or something gross or whatever, he's not gonna read your thing that says no perverts and not do it. I mean, those kind of guys like don't care. So putting it in here just makes the other guys go, oh, why is she talking about this? You know, it's just, it's really gross. He continues, I work online and can work from anywhere in the world. Sure, location is no issue. Got, got mad, ma'am, that's, we understand. <laughs> Like, why are you yelling at us? I prefer someone who also works online or can travel for long periods of time. I just, I, I wouldn't even play it. Sure, wants to travel all the time. Got it, ma'am. Okay. Now, look down here. She's a single mom and she's got, she smokes regularly too. She does not take care of herself. And it's going to be very apparent. Her next picture. That's a huge bitch. And so she's smiling here with her buddy Chad. And she's like, yeah. So then she says, the quickest way to her heart is if you have nothing nice to say, Come talk to me and we can make fun of people together, ma'am. I beat you to it. Sorry about that. <laughs> right. 
Man, see, you're not getting the relationship you want because of you. You have a bad attitude and you're overweight and you're a single mom. Like, so no one's taking you seriously. And she's gonna confirm it with her next pictures. She then says, after work, you can find me home renovation projects, working on cars and bikes, binge watching TV with snacks, floating in a pool tanning. That's a huge bitch. Ma'am, you're already a big girl. Of course, she's not smiling. She's so masculine, you know, home renovation projects and working on cars and bikes. And then she's like, I lay around and eat a bunch. Ma'am, it's not attractive to men. It's just, that's why you're not getting dating success because of you, it's not the men. No, a self-respect, a self-respecting guy would read this and be like, oh, I'm not, I have no interest in her. And then this was her next picture and I hope you're ready. She then has a bunch of X outs and I, it's a whole list of nonsense. She then says a non-negotiable 420, drinking, poly, couples, one night stand, friends with benefits, hookups, casual, gambling, using Snapchat after 40, shirtless pics, inappropriate pics, and comments about looks. Ma'am, I have this for you. And really, I've said this so many times, ma'am, take a dating break, really, get off the app for a while, you keep it fun and flirty, there's nothing whimsical about your profile, there's nothing fun about it, there's nothing flirty about it, you just seem so jaded and angry because you're not getting, you know, she's a, you're a size 26, you know, wanting high value men because you've made it, it's irrelevant to men, you, you see it all the time, you know, guys marrying secretaries and waitresses and stuff they don't care about your accomplishments and money you know unless sure it's not I mean, we don't complain if you have money but it's not like it, you because we're realistic we want fit feminine friendly if if she's not you know a damn genius or isn't you know loaded we don't care but you ladies do so you want a chat type guy and by the way if you're doubting anything i'm saying she linked her instagram and this was her instagram She's just got a bunch of pictures of herself on here, literally just full of herself going, why can't I find the kind of guy I want? Because you're not fit, ma'am, and you're not friendly. You're frowning in almost every picture. It's just so unattractive. It's just never going to happen. Ma'am, I have this for you. I hope the few ladies that, you know, and we have, look, we have some great uh, gals actually part of the community now, and I really appreciate all of them. Um, one actually joined them for membership last night. Thank you so much, Em. Um, you know, they get it. Like, they don't re watch the channel and just get offended because, of, A, you know, the, most of this is comedy, and B, but this is just ridiculous. You have to be friendly if you want to lure in a man. You have to be fit if you want the kind of guys you want. I mean, just, you've seen it over and over again. So this kind of attitude, frowning and masculine stuff, you do you, lady, but it's never going to lead to success. Anyway, we continue. All right, so we're at the final profile today, and the, the, the one we just had was way worse than this one. It's just that she, this lady, waited too long. She could have had the relationship she wants, and she's now not going to get it, and let's see it. So she's 38, and she is very attractive up there. She's got a bikini on, and, you know, it's a, it's a nice picture, and she says, and... She's got her dumb pronouns. It says, about me. I'm a lady, seeing a gentleman. Yes, and she's going to say this word a zillion times. I hope you're ready. I'm warm, honest, intentional, polite, but also seeking the same return. Sure. Things I like. Cats. Plans. Reservations. Flowers. Chivalry. Respect for my time. Monogamy. And traveling. One more oh, yeah. the one. And by the way, she's going to confirm it's all about the money in a moment. And again, she wants kids. If you look down there, that's this is the issue. She wants kids. So she, you know, she waited way past here. And now wants to have a family. And it's, it doesn't work this way, ma'am. You put your career first or you're just too picky. She continues. Intentions. Active people. So she mentioned intentional twice now. Active people living an emotional, mental, financially stable life. Yes, so she wants it all. This is the issue. Ladies, she wants it all. It's not realistic. As you get older, you have to compromise. Now, she is very attractive, okay? But there have been tons of men in her life who would have put babies in her. But she's too picky. And she wants a rich guy. She, it, the guy has to be on her level or richer than her. 
and all this stuff. She probably wants like a famous person. I mean, that she, because she continues. And you see her, I mean, she, again, she is feminine, but it's just, she then, then says, per first date, planned by you, that includes reservations, being picked up, and flowers, a perfect traditional date with a gentleman. One billion, gajillion, fifillion, shabadoodle, million, shawnee, come on, shawnee, million. Damn, I know you want a very rich guy. Now, if the guy, a guy in his 50s, might see would see her still as a prize but it might take the deal just because she is very attractive okay but it's just she's had tons of options she i mean she was i she's very attractive at 38 i can imagine when she was 25 she was absolutely stunning you know she is a model so like and i'm not trying to make her feel bad really i'm not but it just you're too picky ma'am she continues she then says the world would be a better place with more gentlemen in it so please be warm, honest, intentional. She's the third time she's mentioned gentlemen, third time she mentioned intentional. Please ask for my number and use it to call me and ask me on a proper date. And ma'am, we know who you really want. See, you want rich Chad. You want a Chad type guy to take the deal and put babies in you at 38. If a, a guy like that, who's rich, who's around your age, you know, 40 years old, who's attractive, and the guy you clearly are hitting, you know, she's got expensive purse, expensive taste, that's a very expensive outfit, and would just date a younger woman in general. Now, she might prove me wrong. I don't know, I don't know this person. But it just, she could have had any man 10 years ago, but like whatever happened, put her career first, whatever it is. Like ladies, you have to just pick and pick the right guy that's on you. You have tons of bedroom fun options. And there, if you're, especially if you're attracted as her, she could pick from the man she wanted and she chose poorly or whatever happened to her. But then to put this out, all this romance and intentional dating and stuff like that, that's her whole profile. She, and also other than her beauty, ma'am, you you act like you bring, you really, you're not talking about anything else you bring to the table other than beauty. I mean, you, it's just so, anyway, I will leave it there for today. Thank you again for watching another episode of Dating Delusions. I really do appreciate it. Thanks so much. For, we had a live stream last night. It was one power, our best ever. I really appreciate everyone coming. We'll, as I mentioned then, we're going to start doing them kind of, uh, I'll start doing them randomly so you just see me kind of pop online. Hopefully you can join those, but I'll still do scheduled ones. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. It's free to do, and I really appreciate it. And uh, give this video a like if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.